Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? It's time to work on this bad boy. It's time to put a solar panel system on this Keystone Cougar 290 RLS. This fifth wheel is considered solar ready. However, there's no solar panels on the roof, but it has a 30 amp ZAMP solar charge controller and also a uh, ZAMP type solar connectors on the roof. It also has an inverter, also known as DC to AC. Anyway, on this video, I'll show you how to upgrade the ZAMP solar charge controller to Renogy MPPT charge controller. I'll also show how to make that ZAMP connector adapter, you know, from that ZAMP standard to an MC4 connection. And finally, I'll show you how to install the solar panels on the roof on this fifth wheel. Hang tight, I'll show you how. Hey, real quick, if your uh, RV or fifth wheel already uh, has a uh, solar panel, Make sure you disconnect that first before disconnecting the battery. Yeah, this ZAMP solar uh, controller, model number ZS-30A, doesn't have all the features I wanted, so I replaced it uh, with Renogy MPPT controller. Has that Bluetooth uh, module as well. This is a uh, 30 amp. All right, take a look. Not sure if you can see it, but behind there, um, this is battery right here. The connectors is for your battery bank. And the one on the left, this one and this one, solar. You can see it right there, it's written. All right, when you're working on your controller, right? Go ahead and disconnect the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and just disconnect the negative right here. Says 11 16th. Should be good. That's off. One more. That's off. Beauty. Okay, we're good to go. All right, it's time to disconnect four wires start with the uh, battery right and in this case would be the two on the right hand side right this is my battery yeah and this is for the uh, solar panel wires positive negative of course your uh, solar panels goes right here negative positive so um, yeah let me go ahead and strip this and plug it in Hang tight. All right, here we go. Red goes to positive, right? Get that in first. Tighten it up. And negative. Good to go. Red to positive. Black to negative. All right, same thing, right? Solar panel, positive and negative. Let's go connect the positive first. All right, this is a good stopping point. It's getting dark. Let me just go ahead and plug it in. I'll mount it tomorrow. Good to go. Ah, oh, look at that. Beauty. How about that? All right, looks like everything's wired properly. There it is. All right. All right. Let's connect it. Underneath goes one way. Boom. 
All right, mounting the last uh, screw. Beauty. All right, got the Bluetooth mounted there as well. One last thing, right? The battery uh, temp sensor. Um, if you have a uh, wet battery, make sure you don't put this in the enclosure. I'm just gonna tuck it behind here. Uh, it's close enough, same environment, so all is good. Just plug this in and we should be good to go. There it is, boom. This uh, rig actually came uh, with uh, Xantrex X 2000. It's uh, DC to AC. All right, this is a uh, ZAMP, ZAMP solar uh, connectors and it's not the traditional, right? It's not the traditional connectors for your solar. So I picked up a heavier gauge, thicker wires to make the uh, adapter. And just know it's gonna be the reverse of the standard. So typically your red would be the positive and the black one would be your negative. Uh, in this case, ZAMP reversed it, right? And I'm gonna use the traditional connectors to make it happen. So just be aware and also your positive just to make a note of it, it's the uh, one on top right here. The male looking one is actually your positive. And like I said, it's reversed, right? So when I plug this in, this is a female, so it'll need to be plugged in that way. So that means the black will be the positive. The female connector goes to the black, which is your positive. All right, fully stripped. Good. Beauty. That's your ZAMP adapter. There it is. ZAMP Solar. <laughs> but this is the baby right here. All right, I'm down on the ground and I want to show you that ZAMP Solar has it reversed, right? I did mention that the uh, male right above uh, that would be your positive, and the one below is your negative. Let me show you closer. Again, the top one is your positive, bottom one is your negative. Male is positive, female is negative. Let me go ahead and plug it in. As you can see, I plug this in, the male goes to the bottom. And again, the wiring would be then reversed, right? This is your positive and this is your negative. So let's go ahead and test it. And you can tell if you have it right by testing it. Here it is. I got it right. Notice that there's no negative on the left-hand side. Let me reverse it so you know which is positive or negative. If I flip this around, right take a look at the uh, multimeter there's a negative on the left hand side uh, let me point it out this one right here see that negative popped up if i plug this in reverse again the red one being negative now that would show as negative come on baby there it is better handling all right that is it just want to show you the difference right again the black is now positive 
and reverse. I had to reverse it. So, all right. Let me install the uh, the panels. Hang tight. Picked up a couple of these uh, RSP 200D. Uh, it's 200 watts each. Uh, that means I will have a total of 400 watts uh, using um, these panels. Dimension roughly 28 inches by 66. The uh, brackets I'll be using. It's from. Where did I pick this up from? HQST. It's the same. Same panels, right? So, but it is from uh, HQST. All right, it's time to drill holes on this uh, Cougar's roof. Placement would be right there and right there. So let me prep the uh, surface uh, and of course the brackets as well. Nine and a half from the edge. I'm good to go. Got them marked. It's time to clean it up with alcohol along with the uh, brackets. Rubbing alcohol. Yes, I'm going to use a drill, right? Got the drill bit right there, but I will need to hand tighten it. You don't want to over crank, right? So you just want it hand tightened. So um, the surface, I prepared them with uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, I got some stopper in here because it will slide off if uh, once you put the uh, die core self-leveling die core right here. So let me go ahead and uh, put some die core on them and then slap the uh, solar panels. Okay, there you go, die core. Just a glob, right? And uh, I got that bar right there to stop the uh, panel from uh, sliding down. Here it is. Again, don't over screw it, right? Hand tighten it. That's just a placeholder. Fourth screw, right? Don't forget, hand tighten it. All right, let's hand tighten it. One down, another one to go right there. All right, finish up your goop. Take a look, lap sealant, die core, all set, good to go. Um, I'll need to extend the, those set of wires um, to that side right there. Input is right there. Here's that adapter I created. So here we go, let's plug this in. Beauty. All right, let me plug this in. All right, let's take it off. Take a look, all plugged in. Still need to uh, reroute the cables, right? Um, just wanna make sure that the uh, die core is fully cured. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now. This is just uh, one panel, right? Both of the uh, panels, uh, they are both connected now. Just a uh, quick summary, right? Um, did the uh, turn a bond. Also added a zip tie so it doesn't come off easy, right? So right there, holding it in place. And uh, yep, you turn a bond. So, and of course, self-leveling die core. It's looking good, it's curing still, but really happy how it turned out.
take a look so it's not flapping around. It's a uh, two-person job. I actually have my wife up here. Hello. The other thing, this is really sticky and it's almost like, I don't think this thing will come off.